Hey everyone, it's Trick Arrows here. Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we are going to be talking about Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker saga, and what our expectations should be for this year. Um, this game was obviously announced way back in 2019 um, at E3. We haven't really got much for the game um, since that point in time. We've had a couple of trailers, um, but no specific game play footage to to look at um it's been a while since we've had a lego game there was the lego movie 2 video game which i believe was released in early 2019 but it's something that i never wanted to to play to be honest um i know it's pretty lowly thought of in terms of the lego games that they have done i'm you know big fan of the lego games but um, I think that not many people were interested in a Lego Movie 2 uh, video game. But getting back on track, um, in terms of a release date, I'm certainly thinking around the March-April time. I think that would be um, the, the best time for this game to be released. There are four games that you know, WB Games are releasing this year, if you include Lego Star Wars, uh, Hogwarts Legacy... Gotham Knights and Suicide Squad. So um, w WB Games probably wants to space these games out um, a little bit in order to maximize sales. So I've said previously that Suicide Squad would probably be later in the year and Gotham Knights is looking around that June to, to August sort of time. So um, if I you know, if my guesses are correct and, you know, Lego Star Wars is released sometime in um, March March or April, that certainly allows, you know, the games to be evenly spread out and gives WB Games the, the best opportunity to maximize sales. And hopefully if we can get um, this Lego game out soon, then they can get developed on the next project um, and that can be released quicker because... You know, Lego DC Super Villains was the last proper Lego game, in my opinion. Um, that was released in October of 2018. Um, so it's obviously been a long time between drinks. So hopefully, um, you know, we can get our hands on it sooner rather than later. Um, in terms of, you know, what we can see in terms of marketing for the game, I certainly hope that we get um, a proper gameplay demo. You know, we could potentially get access to a beta. I know a lot of people are really, really keen to to get their hands on this game. Um, I've got a bunch of friends who played the Lego Star Wars, the, the Complete Saga, um, and haven't played any Lego games since. So I certainly think that you know, it's going to be appealing to a larger audience um, and it will be the first Lego game for the next-gen consoles. So really keen to play this on the PlayStation 5, see what the graphics look like. Um, there's, you know, 45 levels, 23 planet locations, which, you know, everyone's keen to get involved with involved in um in terms of dlc for this game i would certainly expect there to be packs um for the book of boba fett the mandalorian seasons one and two movies like solo rogue one uh probably the clone wars as well um rebels i think would make some good dlc packs certainly like proper level packs for uh mandalorian boba fett and um Rogue One as well as Solo because um, I think those films are, while they're not, you know, the big Star Wars films that people talk about, um, I certainly think that Rogue One and Solo are, you know, underappreciated. I certainly think Solo is underappreciated. So I'd love to see, um, you know, that movie, you know, get a chance to, to be a level as well. So thank you very much for tuning into this video. I certainly um, hope that you'll, you know, put your comments down in, in the comment section below. If you liked today's video, please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Take care, everyone.